from Bustleton to Broome, this is Spirit Drive. Yes, it is. Spirit Drive right across Western Australia. And I've got a very special co-host for this hour. Welcome back, the amazing Peter Rose Thorne. Welcome. Oh, man, I'm back. I'm back on air again. You're back in the studio. Oh, I see. It was your first week last time I was here. I and know. gee, you've improved because you were terrible. But no, now no, you're I just like God it. now. I should just give it. Well, like last time I gave you the weather, you started yeah. reading the weather. Can't wait to do it again, to be honest. Oh, do we have to do it again? Go on, why not? Uh, maybe in a 45 minutes All or right, so. We've got plenty to talk about because, you know, 2016, it's wrapping up in a nice little bow. It's been a big year. It's Christmas time. What am it I is. holding? What am I holding? Mistletoe, Matt, give us one. Too much. I'd rather go a bit death-defying right now. Who do gurus? Oh, the gurus. I love them. <laughs> All the notes. We've got a Chrissy Classic coming up very soon. It's Matt Later for the drive home at Pete Rose Sword. Oh, I never want to follow that again. Gets us in the festive <laughs> spirit, doesn't it? Jingle Bell Rock. Oh, it does not get me in any sort of festive spirit. No? Why no, not? Because all I just remember is mullets and bad tashes. What gets you in the Christmas spirit, then? Oh. By the way, this is Peter Rosethorn. Welcome again. Thank you, Matt, for having me. I really appreciate it. I've got, we've got lots to talk about over the next day. Yes, we do. But, yeah, back to Christmas spirit. What what gets you into the mood, mate? Eggnog, things like that, Egg- Christmas. Have you ever had eggnog? I have. Have you? What's I think it? it was off. I don't remember. It was one of those, you know, when you go to one of those Roadrunner promotional vehicles. Yeah. I don't know how long it was sitting in the sun for because I had it oh. and then I spewed up for the rest of the afternoon. That's nasty. It was a bit wrong. Don't do that. I'll remember that for the rest of my life. It's got brandy in it, hasn't it? Something, brandy well, it was one of those, like, uh, you can, one. Yeah, you can buy them in the supermarket. Well, so it wasn't it wasn't proper eggnog. I, meant, I think it meant to get smashed. I think you actually meant to get off your noddle. Uh, oh, it reminds me of that that scene. Was it National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Yes. And Chevy just kept getting good, good, good. Clark Griswold <laughs> in a good jumper. <laughs> yes. In a great jumper. See, we missed that. We don't have good jumpers. The good in the middle do, of do summer. We, do we make any good Christmas movies anymore? Well, I was in Crackers. That was a good one, actually. Yeah, it was much okay. better Crackers, because it was this is a long time ago, kiddies, who haven't who had no idea what I'm talking about. It was made in oh, 1997, I think. So yeah, it yeah. came out just after the castle. But oh, it, was, yeah. it was a Christmas-themed movie. It has a hilarious Christmas Day scene in it, because I get, I, get um, I get my mince patties spiked by my young teenage, <laughs> you know, de facto <laughs> child, and he spikes my things with hashish. I have a bad day at the table. <laughs> Oh, dearie, dearie. Well, bad day. It looks like you had a great night, though, last night. I was having a look at the West Australian today. So proud of myself. Page three of the Today Lift Out, there is yeah. a photo of Julie Bishop yeah. and you doing yeah. the best photo bomb yeah. ever. Thank you very much. Well I'm done. so proud of myself because on the night, and we're at the opening of the Crown Casino, which yeah. is a bit hoi polloi, and I've, I've worked a bit with Julie Bishop during, during functions and stuff, even the hosted functions she's been at. And anyway, because she was referred to in Kath and Kim Dorella when we were doing the movie yes. as, like, you know, as a bit of a, if I was lesbian, I'd turn for her. She's <laughs> Very chuffed by that, and so she's always, always you know, we have a nice time. We see each other. She's got a great sense of humour. She's a funny woman. Mm. So I was standing next to talking to her boyfriend, uh, Dave, I think his name is. Yeah. And um, that's my daughter, who's just behind as well. I said, "Here we go, photo bomb, photo bomb. Here we go." And I just, I, I generally avoid cameras. So <laughs> I'm going, "Hello, boys." <laughs> it's just a nice, clean one. And they must have known when they put it in. She got raised on photo bombing. No mention under there. Yeah, there is no caption of this. Should have been a well photo bombed by, but no. No, I think I'm that. expecting a letter to the editor from you. Dear Mr. Editor, <laughs> Peter Rosal. <laughs> I took the trouble to photobomb. It was well timed and well executed in a very busy environment. I wasn't drunk. <laughs> I was completely aware of what I was doing. <laughs> and I nailed it, quite frankly. I just broke a pen. <laughs> just just for doing you that. You some great mom typing. <laughs> It wasn't mommy actually hurting your fingers on the desk, but it's um yes it was it was a fun night and uh, and it, uh, you know it's just nice sort of photo bomb walks and it's so exciting to do photo bombs just have a great thrill of their own yeah it's great I mean everyone's forgotten about you know how you, you just sign autographs and things like everyone wants the selfie and things like that it do you get people coming up to you though and be like oh my god Pete Rose thought I want a selfie with you every day yeah but, that, but no not I was expecting day. Julie Bishop to ask you for this though. I was thinking of myself a few years ago no, <laughs> when I'm out of function yeah it'll, it'll happen a fair yeah. bit but. I, I think it's much more convenient than getting a photo of a piece of old serviette and someone can't give you sign that <laughs> yes. a stack of some crap ticket they found in their bag <laughs> and they're never going to look at it again. You go, I'm just wasting my time. Speaking of tickets, though, you'll be probably hoping to sell a few. You've got a couple of shows coming up soon. We'll talk about that a little bit later. I've got people to thank from last year's shows oh, as well. cannot wait. Well, we'll get back into the music right now. What have we got? Florence and the Machine. I love her. Spirit Drive. I saw it. That is fresh music for the drive home. Biffy Clyro, rearrange. Spirit Drive across. WA 25 past 4. Love Biffy. Yeah, the Biffy Clara. Love the Biffy Clara. Bring back the Biff. Bring back the Biffy. When are they touring? I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Check it out. Get my producer involved. Oh, that's me. (laughs) How are you going anyway, mate? I've got a spirit radio. I'm (laughs) great. (laughs)
I'll be here, I'm here all day, Matt. So stop you asking. will be. Well, you're here until five o'clock. Peter Rosethorn, very, very funny bloke. Now, I know you're very switched on with totally. what's been going on, and very I've savvy. prepared something for you. Are you ready for this? Because yeah. we usually do a segment with Samantha Jolly from Seven News. It is the week that was. Should I'm be not quite as easy on the eye. As very tr- well, she's I'm very not. good looking. I don't know if you're in a suit. Man, look at this photo, mate, in the well, West Australia. That was well bombed, I know. Yeah, it was really thank good. You. Thank really you very good. much. But uh, I think we should uh, give you the honours of doing the year that was. Oh, and goodness. I think I blew the budget on this little intro. So here we go. Get ready. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. And now on Spirit Drive, this is the year that was. With Peter Rosal. There you go. Oh. I thought you were going to do stuff, in it. Like, no, you no, know, that was it. It was March, and da, 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 da. I told you we don't really have a big budget here. <laughs> You've got That's no all budget. I've got. <laughs> <laughs> just use some old music and just pretty much put your voice on echo. Exactly man. right. That's, That's exactly what I did. So the year that was, what did we learn? What did we learn? Well, we... everyone's starting to love Donald Trump. Or well, everyone are they starting to love them? I don't know. Starting to love him. I think. Do you start? What do you think? It's in, you, oh, it's in the now, biggest still? holding zone at the moment. We can't do it. We're just like, oh, what have we? I think the people are going, what have we done still? Mm. And he hasn't done anything. Horribly wrong. Well, there except- is a still a chance, apparently, the Electoral College can still make history and not vote him in, apparently. Well, then they look stupid, though. Yeah, it's true. It's so desperate and wrong. And he's just, he's been doing some shifty, you know, assembling of the of the board behind our backs whilst <laughs> distracting us through his tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just doing some really shifty kind of makeup of cabinet, which is like, oh, not that guy who wants to push the button. Like, he's, he's leader of the military. He's <laughs> known to be a yeah. complete nutbag. And, uh, yeah, so I just think that's. I, something ghoulish about me can't wait for it to start. Like it's going to be a really wild four mm-hmm. years when he's in power. If he, as long as he doesn't kill everybody, it should be pretty good because there'll be something to talk about all the time. That's exactly right. And people should start be talking about well, what policies are you going to make instead of going Alec Baldwin again <laughs> yeah. on Saturday night. Oh, terrible, disgusting <laughs> kind of not thing. Not funny. Not <laughs> funny. <laughs> and tweets. <laughs> but hilarious. <laughs> but not funny. <laughs> <laughs> we we learned what a what a fine line with there is between a between a full moon and a super moon. Yeah. Because I couldn't tell the difference between no. a normal and a and a super. Well, there was a bloody there was a few uh, super moon the other day. It was bigger than the one that everyone was talking about three or four weeks ago. A daytime moon. Yeah, no, it was, no, it was at night time. It oh. was a big, massive full moon. Yeah. And I thought it was bigger than the actual super moon that everyone was really oh, talking about and definitely. spreading and all that stuff. I've, I've seen the moon rise over the horizon like the sun. Thing, the size of that moon. <laughs> but the super moon. Are you still talk about the thing in the sky? Or? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> no, not a moon. I don't get mooned anymore. You still Isn't moon? A, actually, I, what did I hear that you can't moon in Victoria? That's a, it's illegal to moon. Apparently, it's illegal to moon in but Victoria. It's not illegal to press ham. <laughs> which is where you put your moon up against the window. Okay. Which is hilarious. I'm learning something yes, right now. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's bylaws. Writing that <laughs> down there. Go. Yes, thank you. Well, you can press that. Yeah, it's been obviously the year of the underdog too. You oh, know, we wow. had the Western Bulldogs. I love that win. That was the best football yeah. story of the year. Their whole finals run was amazing. I'm a Hawthorne supporter, so I, I just got heat all year. Oh, you would have. <laughs> you would have. It's win again, will you? <laughs> so, okay, good. I'm sort of glad we weren't there in the end. But, uh, but the Bulldogs, that was just fantastic. What a great game. What a fantastic final! Yeah, it was sort of close, but it kind of wasn't. You didn't, you know, you didn't want to have a heart attack, but just brilliant. That that Western, the, the greatest Western Sydney game was fantastic. Mm-hmm. The Limmer was fantastic. Grand final, no, huge tip for the doggies. Well done. Yeah, I think there was even uh, Ireland beating New Zealand in the rugby. I think Australia would kill for that. Was one game out in America or something I think that like must that? Must have been potted or something. There was something wrong. Something was <laughs> a little bit off there. Yeah, that thing, yeah, something's not right. I they, don't know. They just weren't there. And uh, face on. really bad year for deaths, though. I mean, you know, the legends of David Bowie. Glad I saw Prince before he died. Yeah, Prince, that was one of the big... Actually, it was uh, Simon Collins, the music editor of The West, came in the studio and he said that was pretty much his favourite gig of 2016, it was hands a, down. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah it was great. But uh, I went with a friend who's going, where's the band? <laughs> it was yeah. clearly Yeah, it was just him, as wasn't it? Prince yeah. the piano. I said, man, it's just even the... <laughs> but this put about the band. <laughs> See, if it, he's whinged the whole time, I'm going, shut up! <laughs> he's having a... It's good. He was just great. And it is not weird how so many of those rock star dudes, or, you know, like Elvis, they sort of... They they frown upon you as your recreational drugs, but just go nuts on your prescribed action. Just can't get enough of the doctor. Excuse me, doctor. I'm a bit flat. Can you amp me up a touch? Yeah, sure, no worries. Whoopsie, too much of that one. Bang, there they go. What were you doing on census night as well? Do you remember that? 
Oh, it crashed. Yeah. I had no intention of doing it on the actual time. Because I, I, my sister said, my sister, what am I saying? My wife said, I bet the computer's crashed. Because there was such a big build-up to it all. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, <laughs> bang, down they go. Bam, bam. And I just did it about a week later at my own leisure. You know. Since I did it last time, was more, I'm glad the computer version is much easier than the other version. I've got six kids. It takes ages. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, well, the kids are getting uh, into Pokemon Go as well. I mean, Go. what was that all about? Do you know about? how much roadkill I got while I was out there? <laughs> it was that people weren't concentrating. <laughs> I, yeah. I could run over people willy-nilly. Uh, <laughs> You're on the road looking for that thing, brother. Get off. I had to laugh, too. I mean, there were even signs, I think, in America and even parts of Australia yeah. saying, you know, get well, off your phone, get off Pokemon Go. Watch out, geeks. But then you're driving around. <laughs> Perth as well, saying, learn to merge. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was pretty funny. What, we, you've obviously lived here for quite a while. Have you ever thought, what there is, is no the deal? Other, there is no other state that would have a learn to merge campaign. <laughs> but if there's anyone needed one, it was WA. Ding, exactly because right. There is something about, it was like merging in this state, it was like having a, it's like a personal attack. <laughs> you cannot be seen letting one in because it's like a, you know, it's, it's, it's like some sort of, you, some sort of chink out of your masculine armour or something. No, 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 you you got to fight for your positions in this laneway. You've got to fight for your right to uh, get on the road. It's crazy. I but know. Um, it's, uh, I used to try and yeah, I used to use my C-grade personality at some times. Uh, you know, when you try to merge, I used to one window down and ask if they could let me in. I'd be like, you're that guy! You're that guy! Didn't they give me the finger anyway? Don't you know who I am? Still wouldn't yes. let me in. Yeah. <laughs> Chucking it out and doing a Ricky out. If the government is listening right now, is that, is that an offer you want to actually be a part of a merging campaign? If oh, someone offered. Let's do it on telly, come on. And or radio Hey, you! And the only time I've been pulled over <laughs> by the police here is because I merged incorrectly. Oh, I was really? Going to the airport. <laughs> it's almost, it's oh, well, that's on. easy to do at the airport. There's so much development around there. Yeah, it was. Well, there was no building yeah. up on, the, on that freeway there, but um, I was so ashamed to be just for the one thing I was to bag but Western Australia for was we can't have merged for the police said, you know, you merged incorrectly. And they explained it. It's like a zip, mate. It's like a zip. So I know it's like a zip. Oh, God. I, hate you. <laughs> I wish I was a fly on the wall during that exchange, let me tell you. We've got plenty more to talk about. Peter Rose is joined me for the rest of the hour on Spirit Drive, Hunters and Collectors and R.E.M. also up soon. Great track, R.E.M. Man on the Moon. The man in the studio right now is Peter Rosethorn. This is Spirit Drive right across Western Australia. You're having a great afternoon, Matt. Yeah, I'm really enjoying uh, yes, your company. So Thank you. Now, I've got to say, <laughs> too... Um, <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know. Well, we're talking about the year that was. Yes. And there is a TV show on Channel 10. Have you been paying attention? Paying attention. Good show. Hit show. Lots I mean, my old it's... mates are on that one. Yes. Started off with maybe about two, three hundred thousand viewers. Now it's like one of the top shows of Is the, it really? the Ten Network, doing very, very well. Oh, thanks for asking me on Back then. next year. Working That's the dog. thing. That's my yeah, question. Where's my job? Where's your? Uh, where's, where's my your job? Where's my job? I know. Well, I live in work in the West. That's never handy for those sort of things. When I was living, when there's, see, I was, when I was back home, I was there was a lot of shows like Spicks and Specs was made just around the corner. Where I live in basically called Elstonwick, which is just mm -hmm. well, which where the ABC studios were kind of based. So it was a bit of a oh. If in doubt, well, the road's on just up the road. We'll go and grab him. So I was literally yeah. a bit on hand. Yeah. And also, my profile was pretty high because Kath and Kim was pretty big at that point, mm -hmm. you know, early noughties, you know, or two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, around there. Mm -hmm. And that's when all those shows were on. So, I, and I was a bit of a, a gimme for thank God you're here because I'd done a lot of improvisation in my younger years. Yeah. And to go on it, and because the, the show is just burgeoning, the first first series was great because it was it was filmed in front of a live audience who didn't know what they were watching, hadn't gone to air yet, so they were looking at it quite in a neutral sort of sense, but yes. by the time you're doing series four, the audience size is quadrupled, and Hamish yeah. Blake's a freaking monster, and people are <laughs> like a rock show, <laughs> <laughs> and out in the bar, comic bars set up pretty high, and that was okay too, but it, yep. and it was just, anyway, so those sort of shows are made, you know, they, they, this, they becomes a cue to get on them, mm -hmm. so every Everyone wants to, have, and because there are a lot of so many radio programs that do well, like you know the Nova people or whatever, and all the FM people from all either state, Melbourne, Sydney, because mm -hmm. they're all national. They love, they get pushed to get their, their management push them on. Yeah, so do this. It gives you exposure for everywhere. Well, I think uh, we should do an audition tape for you. I think yeah. you will be taken seriously if you have been paying attention oh, to okay. twenty sixteen. All right. Oh, and more production. More production from Matt. Probably wasn't even mine anyway. No, All right. <laughs> it was millionaire, but that's okay. I'll take it. Now, the world went crazy for Pokemon Go, as we mentioned. Yes, it did. What is the name Pokemon short for? Mm. Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> It's it's a Japanese for Pokemon. <laughs> no, 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 no. Pocket, pocket, pocket monsters. Pocket monsters, of course. Yeah, pocket, pocket monsters. monsters. Oh, 
OK, well, that's not great. That wasn't, no, wasn't not, a great not start. Not the best start. But Pokey Mum's all right. You could give it a go. Well, yeah. anyway, um, last month, Chappelle Corby yes. received a date to leave Bali. She did. What is this date? It's pretty soon. It's very soon, it's, actually. Uh, it's January. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very little higher. <laughs> it's a bit like the price is right, higher or lower. Go well, a little higher. Like higher what? Towards what? Just December? Like uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's still in the first half of the oh, year, okay. but on the higher That's end much. of the first half it of the year. February. <laughs> It's the January. Yeah, it's January. Yeah, up, 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 it's the January. Up, up, up. It's December. December. <laughs> 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 said, I said the first three months. You kept on pointing out. Oh, sorry, I mean January up, February up. Oh, oh I see. I wasn't going down April. like that way. It was April. <clears throat> next was, month. Oh, the next May. month. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I was close. Only six you. months off. Yeah, we're done. Well. Well, All right, we'll give you that one. I'm Fine. Well. All right, which hardware chain closed its doors? Master's for good this month. Well done. Congratulations. And I'd, you. I'd, you know, there was a, one less place to get a sausage sizzle now. Do they have sausage sizzle there? Yeah, oh, I, I, I used to live near a Masters, and oh. now I've got to travel another 10 kilometres. I used to go to the Spearwood one, and I went to the closing down south thinking it's going to be a bargains plenty. Yeah. No, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think it was cheap enough. All right, Prince Harry's new girlfriend, what's her name? Is totally hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From the she's in a soap opera, and her name yes. is Natalie Lambruglia. <laughs> Name Marie <laughs> Megan Markle. Now I got an Megan man. Markle, and Megan she was the Markle. most googled actress of 2016. Of I reckon she was. if we were in the 80s, that sentence would have meant something completely different. Yeah. But anyway, uh, which iconic <laughs> redhead made her return to federal politics and is now a senator? Pull it, heads. Yeah. Do you remember this? Yeah. Apparently like got it. banned. I should probably stop yeah. because I might get in trouble. Why did it get banned? One radio network. Yeah. Actually, it was the ABC. I think it was banned from the ABC at one was stage. That? Yeah. Rage. Sensitive. It was a lot of rage. In more ways than one. Mariah Carey and James Packer. Yes. One of the couples of the year. They've Great split. Great couple. Where, where's what, was, split? what was the couple's name? Oh. Because you know there's a name like Brangelina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can probably, if you don't know, you can probably make it up. Uh, <laughs> Packer Care. Packer care. Packer care. Yeah, Packer care. How about Maraca? Maraca. Is it, was it Maraca? <laughs> Maraca's really good. It's much better than Packer care. It sounds like a packing company. Fuck your mum. All right. Who did Richie choose on Richie. The Bachelor? Do you remember you were watching The Bachelor oh, earlier? Now, you've got to know this if you want to get chose, up how you've been paying attention. This chose, is the same network. Okay. Samantha. Mm, 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 Angela. Mm, mm, mm. No, no, no. Dominique. No, no, no. Jenny. Mm, mm. Carol. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> you're still thinking, thinking Mumbo number five. <laughs> Sandra the Sun. Um, no, Alex. Alex, of Alex. course. Now, who, Alex. Did, who did Georgia choose on The Bachelorette? Samantha. I'm actually... <laughs> Don't, don't. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm actually asking Sam. you because I have no idea. Sam Mike. No, it was a Lee. A Lee, Lee, of course. There you go. Lee, because uh, of his legs. The government's three-word slogan during the, the election campaign. What was their three-word slogan? The government's three-word mm. slogan in Western Australia? No, a, a federal government. A federal, we had the federal election. Words. Make us great. Yeah, mm, close. No, that was no. no, no. It was... It, oh, yeah, make America great again, yeah, all you meant. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It was... Um, jobs and growth. Jobs and growth. That's why it's so unforgettable. Because all right. Because you hear those every day. I'm doing well. What you're, doing, you're doing quite two well. Out I think two out of uh, nine, That's I think. Right. Uh, okay. Let's get into ten. That's my old school scores. Okay. <laughs> Name two things that have been the news yep. for catching on fire. You know, like an appliance... Oh like, yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, the bush. That is technically true. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, they had one. They had trouble with the battery packs. Yeah. On um, the recharge packs on. Um, Getting all of it. Yeah, yeah. The kind of a scooting kind of a thing, wasn't it? Like, a, mm, yeah. like the things you roll on you, in, on the, you know, where you. Oh, the, the hoverboard hover 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 board board kind of thing. Had, yeah, that was one of those. Yeah, that was one of those. What about the Samsung and Galaxy Note Seven? That can't was take another them one? on the plane. No, no you can't do that. Them on the plane. And uh, if you've got bushfires, you've got. You've got a Thermomix that could and possibly cause one too. As well, don't get any of those things. All right, I think we should get back into the music. How Why? about that? I Why? think we, we should. For hours. We could do this oh, for hours, this. but we need to get into some songs. What do we got? We got the new one from Shepherd. It's actually. Is oh, it? do you know which TV show this is on right now? This is on a promo right now, airing on TV. For the French French chef. Oh, Manu. Uh, Manu. My kitchen rolls. Anyway, jeez. What? Um, and before too long, we must say goodbye. 
to the very funny Peter Rose Thorn. Thank you very much. I've learned quite a lot of things this afternoon Thank about you. Pokemon being about Poke your mum or whatever, yeah, yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah. You've got a few shows coming up. Can't Tell us wait. all about them. I'm imploring everyone, imploring you all to come to watch me at the Bustleton Well Theatre. Yes. Especially on the 27th, two shows, seven and nine. Mm -hmm. Tickets on sale at the door at four o'clock in the afternoon. Not that you remember that. But beautiful theatre, historic theatre. If you've never been to that theatre, go and have a look. All the people who saw me at, at Frack Off with John Butler, come up and come to the World Theatre okay. on that night. Two shows. Then I'm down to um, Walpole and then I'm at Pemberton for the following two nights. So that's uh, Pemberton uh, Community Centre at the Walpole Sports Bar. Oh, all right, and we were joking off air because we uh, had a look at your website. <laughs> okay, okay. What's Go to the website that? in a couple of days because <laughs> last year's dates are up still. You forgot because, the password. <laughs> I forgot the password. It's all right. I know it's simple. I'll find out tomorrow. But we'll check on the website for details all right. tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> PeterRosal.com. It's that been is great, there you go. Thank Always you so much. Mate. A pleasure. Thank you very much for Merry wrapping Christmas. up the year with me. And a Merry Christmas to you too as well. You are off to lovely Victoria. Is that right? Back to my home state to see my family. But uh, looking forward to have you back as well here. Can't wait. Anyway, good stuff. You are an adopted sand groper. I sure am, mate. Here, here. All right, we're going to get to the news very shortly. Samantha Jolly from 7 News coming up, and also Steve Butler from the West Australian with the Sports Wrap. Spirit Drive across WA.